Welcome to the lectures on transportation and engineering to see you for paper. In today's lecture, we will learn about the runway length. What is basic runway length? First of all, the basic runway length is nothing about the runway length, which is calculated on the basis of these following uh, assumed conditions, is really known as the basic runway length. What are these conditions? You can see, or we can say these are the assumptions also. On the basis of these assumptions, we try to find out the length of the runway. So, these are some of the assumptions we have created, and we really try to find out on the basis of these that is, the no wind is blowing on the runway. We have seen what is the effect of wind in the previous uh, yeah, in the previous lectures like head wind, tail wind and the cross wind component, how they are uh, typical and how they are uh, what is the complexity of these wind component uh, the runway orientation. So we assume that no wind is blowing on the runway. Second is aircraft is loaded to its full capacity so that uh, whatever length we will uh, find out or whatever the runway will be designed that will be capable to at that much lot. So, if runway uh, in reality, if the, runway, uh, if the aircraft will not be loaded uh, to its full capacity, whatever the runway is constructed or whatever the runway is designed, that will be capable to fulfill those requirements. So, uh, we assume that aircraft is loaded to its full capacity. Then we assume that airport is situated at the sea level. Why we assume this? Uh, because uh, as elevation increases, means as we got at some height above the mean sea level, the air density reduces as as the air density reduces it uh, reduces the lift uh, uh, it reduces the elevation of lift on the aircraft so generally we assume that the aircraft is situated at the sea level then we have no wind is blowing on the way of the destination then runway has zero effective gradient and as well as we also assume that the center temperature is maintained along the its way and the center temperature of 15 degrees centigrade at the airport edges, so this is also one of the elevations. On the behalf of the elevations, we try to find out the length of the runway. After this, we will try to learn some of the uh, factors which will be generally affect the length of runway. Uh, as per the landing and takeoff operations are concerned, so there are three factors we generally we need to uh, understand about them. So those are one is. Normal landing, then normal takeoff, a stopping in emergency. So, as for the landing and takeoff operator of an aircraft is concerned, these are three, uh, three factors or there are three cases which are uh, which need to be considered in deciding the runway length or in deciding the basic runway length that is the normal landing, normal takeoff and is, uh, stopping in the emergency. So, we will learn about these three cases. First of all, we will take the first one that is the normal landing. So, what is the normal landing uh, situation or what is, yes, in this we assume that the 
aircraft will come to stop. The aircraft will come to stop within the 60 percent length of within the 60 percent length of the landing distance. This is nothing but 0.6 time, or we will say the 60 percent of the landing distance. We said that the aircraft approaching to an runway, aircraft approaching to an uh, the aircraft approaching to an runway will come to stop within the 60 percent of the landing distance if it is approaching. At a proper speed and crossing the threshold at a height of 15 meter. What we are trying to say that if a runway, uh, if an aircraft is approaching to a runway at a height of 15 meter, uh, that we to say that aircraft crosses the threshold at a height of 15 meter and approaching at a proper speed, then it will come to a stop within the 60 percent of landing distance. Means uh, it is approaching, it is here, it is at traveling at a proper speed. And it is at a height of 15 meter. That means it is crossing the threshold at a height of 15 meter. What is the threshold? It is a point at the end of, end of runway. So when the runway starts, that point is when the normal is the threshold. That means it is approaching at a proper speed and crossing the threshold at a height of 15 meter. Then after some distance, it will come on the runway and then it will start its landing at the speed. And after some distance, it will come to stop. So this will be the stopping distance. We consider that this stopping distance will be the 60 percent of the landing distance. Right. So this is stopping distance nothing but the 60 percent of landing distance. So it will stop. It will be there on the 60 percent of landing distance on the runway if it is approaching the runway at a proper speed and crosses the threshold at a height of 15 meter. This is what the long, normal landing. Thank you. 
strength.
it should be the half of this one, which is the distance. The half of this. The half of this should be the should be the length of layer value, which distance to reach at a height of 10.5 meter. This D 10.5 is nothing but 1.15 of left of distance. Then we can see that next type of distance. This type of distance it is nothing but 1.15 of distance to reach at a height of 10.5 meter. That means C 10.5. This is the take off distance, right? Then we have the next take off run. Take off run is nothing but this is take off distance. That is COD minus clear width. This is nothing but the take off run. So there are five formulas here which we can remember. One, two, three. So this is nothing but our normal takeoff situation which we need to consider <coughs> as far as landing and takeoff operations are concerned for finding or for deciding the basic runway length. Point. This is generally the lift out distance 
this range from the strength to the distance of the end at which the aircraft attains the lift during the takeoff operation. That is the lift from the strength, this point from where the aircraft attains the lift. The aircraft has started running on the runway in the takeoff direction. This is the point where we find out that, that there is a failure at the end. So we cannot go for, uh, we, can, we cannot continue the takeoff operation. So we have decided that we will stop the aircraft. So as we will stop the aircraft, we have to provide some distance on the runway at the end of the runway. That is the way known as the stop way. This is nothing but the stop way. We have already provided the clear way. We have to know that the requirement for this uh, clear way is that is the width of this clear way should be minimum 150 meter, the same as normal type of criteria. This should be minimum 150 meter. Here we have provided the clear stop way. The strength it will be of the full full strength and way. That means the thickness of this will be certain, but the thickness of the pavement at the stop way will reduce. So if we see the cross section, we find out that we will find out that here this is the thickness of pavement of runway, but this is the thickness of the stop way. The thickness of runway. There is a thickness of the stop way. You can see this. That means here it is with the runway is provided to the full full thickness of the pavement, but the thickness at the stop way reduces. That means because you can see at this speed we as the daily and the airport for the take of operation, but the engine failure will not occur. Very frequent data we can see that it, it, the engine failure occurs the very few times. So that's why this stop way will be utilized by the aircraft. The rarely but it will be utilized very few times. So that. We can accommodate so that we can compromise with the quality at this point so that we can reduce the thickness of pavement at this stop area. But this stop area will be sufficient, but this thickness uh, which is provided at this stop area will be sufficient to take the load of the aircraft. And when it increases 
ได้เดียว
It is what? First numerical. It is given. What is given? We have asked to calculate the actual length of the runway for this data. What is data? The RF, that is the airport elevation. First, we will write the given data. Airport elevation is given as RF is 50. Airport reference temperature is given. Airport reference temperature, ART. Airport reference temperature is given as 30 degrees centigrade. Then third, basic runway length. Basic runway length is given as 650 meter. And highest point along the length, that is highest elevation point, HE. Highest elevation point is given as 96 RL. 96.4 and then lowest elevation point it is given as RF 93.4. So this is what given to us and we are asked to find out the actual length of runway. Right? So what we have to do? We have to apply the corrections. Because we can see that the airport is not situated at the mean sea level. The airport elevation is 150 degrees centigrade. Airport reference level is given something as well as highest and lowest elevation point is given. So, before finding the actual runway length, we have to find out some of the correction and we have to correct this basic runway length so that we will get the actual runway length. So, first of all, we will apply the first correction. We have seen that we need to apply the correction in sequence. First of all, we need to apply the correction for elevation, then we apply the correction for temperature, and last we go for correction of correction for gradient. So, first of all, we will go for Correction of correction for elevation. We will go first for this. So we will say that correction, we will try to find out the correction. What is correction for elevation? We said that the runway length should increase at a rate of 7%. I am writing 7% as 7 by 100. That the runway length should increase at a rate of 7%. For every for every 300 meter rise in elevation, for every 300 meter rise in elevation, what is rise here? 150 meters. So it will be 150. What we are saying? 7 percent at a rate of runway should increase at a rate of 7 percent for every 300 meter rise in elevation. So this is we are finding here correction for 150 meter. Runway length need to be increased, so it will multiply by 650. We will get this as 22.75. This will be taken as 23 meter. Therefore, the corrected length this will be 650 plus 23 equals to 673 meter. This is after applying the correction for elevation. Now we will go for the second one that is.
14.025 degree centigrade. This is what the standard atmospheric temperature for the airport site. So we find out the difference in temperature. This will be the airport reference temperature that is 20 degree centigrade minus standard temperature that is 14.025. If we solve this, we will get it as 15. Point this is what the difference in temperature what difference in airport reference temperature on the standard temperature now we will calculate the correction for temperature that is correction equals to what is 1% for every 1 degree centigrade rise in temperature this is rise in temperature 15.975 so the increase will be 15.975 degree centigrade so I will write it as 15.015975 into the runway length was corrected 673 if I do this I will write the direction this is somewhere around 108 meter therefore the corrected length is